Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the bypass of the remote management lock on an Apple iOS device. It's also known as the MDM lock, and it's usually when the device is owned either by a business or a school or a hospital or some other type of organization that gives out the devices to their employees or to students if it's a school or other situations like that. And then in that case, the device is usually configured with uh, additional apps that might relate that might relate to the company or the business. Um, they may have certain restrictions on there that allow the employees to do certain things or not to do certain things and other types of situations like that. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on Apple iOS devices, usually because they purchased the device used from someone who was an employee or student who worked for that company or organization and just sold the device off and didn't tell the buyer that it, the device was restricted. So here with us today, we happen to have an iPad Pro that is a recent model that came out in the past year or so. If you've been following us for a while, you might have seen the first remote management video that we put up, but that was several years ago, and so we kind of wanted to make an updated one just showing that we can indeed still perform the service for the latest models with the latest iOS versions and all of that. So this is a device that does have the remote management lock enabled. This one specifically says that it is administered by UCLA. And then if we tap next up there in the corner, it'll take us to a login page where the uh, university employee or a student or whatever the situation is would have to log in there in order to be able to proceed and be able to use the device. So this is one that a customer asked us to fix for them because they purchased it used from a seller who was dishonest about the device's status and they didn't know that during the setup uh, process as you're going through, you come to the screen and then you're actually not able to get past it because you don't have that login to be able to proceed and keep going. So in conjunction with a few other companies, we have developed a software tool that runs on a computer and allows you to bypass this step in the setup process to be able to proceed through everything else and use the device just as normal. And so after that, there's no sign or his or uh, no sign whatsoever that the remote management lock was ever on there. You have full access to all, all of the apps and settings and features. You can sign in with your own iCloud account, and it's pretty much just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. So just to demonstrate that we can indeed perform this procedure, I was actually running our bypass tool on the device while I was talking. So now we just have to wait for it to reboot here. And then after that, we should be able to see that we can indeed get all the way through the setup steps without encountering that remote management page again. I can go ahead and unplug it because we are done with that step. And then this is just going to take another 30 seconds or so here to finish rebooting. Okay, there we go. So we are back at the initial start screen showing the languages and everything. So we're going to swipe up. And then there's a button there that we can tap to hit continue. And then, so instead of seeing now the remote management lock, we're just gonna continue on with all of the normal setup steps in Apple's setup process that is pretty much the same for every device. So we're gonna hit continue there. We're not gonna do face ID, so we're actually gonna set that up later. We're not gonna do a passcode either because we don't need one. We're going to also skip the Apple ID step. We're just trying to get to the home screen here as fast as possible, basically, to show you that it does indeed work. So we're going to skip through the location and the Siri and everything else that it asks you about setting up. Continue, 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 continue. And there we go. There's a welcome to iPad screen. So swipe up there. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features just like normal. There's nothing restricted, there's nothing missing, there's no extra apps from the company added in. And then if we go under settings, we can see that we have full access to everything else there too, because a lot of times with devices from a company, there will be options missing from the settings or things of that nature. It tells us that we can sign in and basically set it up just as a brand new device with full control over it. So just to show you here what we are working with, 
uh, exactly, if we go under about here, we will be able to see that we do have an iPad Pro. It's the fourth generation, the A2229 there is a specific model number of this device. But this is something that we can perform for any Apple iOS device. So that's any iPad, any iPhone, and it even applies to iPod touches because we have seen in some uh, scenarios where some companies or organizations will issue iPod touches to their employees or students or whatever it may be instead of the other devices. So if you have a recent Apple iOS device that has the MDM lock on it or the remote management that you can see here and need help getting that bypassed, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.